How's it going, everybody? Uh, I've had a few comments, and uh, I've actually had some people personally ask me if I'd make a video on how to install Mice's 64x64 Realistic Overhaul Texture Pack. Um, so here we go. Uh, when you get into her forum topic, it's going to have a lot of information in here that you actually need to read. You need to look at it, read it, figure out how to install it, all that good stuff. She also recommends other um, other mods and stuff like that over here on the side. Um, here's her downloads for her texture packs. You can get uh, support files, all that good stuff. And if you keep scrolling down, you have your installation notes. A lot of people end up skipping this part right here. Well, this is a very important part, and most people don't list, don't pay attention to it. So, anyways, basically, you want to. Uh, load up Minecraft to patch the game to the latest version, then close it out. Ensure texture packs folder is empty, blah blah blah. Okay, check this out. If you've been playing Minecraft recently, it's probably up to date. So you don't have to worry about that first part. The main thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download and run this HD Texture Fix Patcher. Which is, I don't know why he named it that way, because it's all jacked up, but whatever. After you have downloaded that, and you've put it on your desktop, or wherever else you want to put it, you want to double click it to get into it. After you get into it, it's going to look kind of weird, and everybody's going to be like, what the hell, what's this original output, all that kind of crap. You don't have to worry about either of these two right here. The only thing you need to actually funk worry about is going to be the texture pack right here. If you have never put a texture pack on your Minecraft, then this is going to be very easy for you, because all you're going to do is you're going to click this little box here. You're going to browse to your texture pack. and you're gonna hit open. It's automatically gonna change the tile size, you don't have to mess with this. You don't gotta mess with any of these animated waters, animated lavas, fires, any of that good stuff unless the game has just been updated and this patcher actually still works. Um, a lot of people are having crash issues and things like that and that way you'd have to turn off the animated water and lava and that usually fixes that problem for the time being. As of right now everything is running perfectly fine whatever. Now you just hit patch and you're good to go. As soon as it says success probably, it's probably good to go. You go into Minecraft just to check it out. Do do do. And voila, you have the texture pack. It's good to go. Okay, now for those of you that um, have a texture pack already in the game. So like let's say uh, I already have this on here, I want to get rid of it, get to the vanilla so I can go ahead and patch it to the texture package that I want. What you do is you have to click on this little button here which says open Minecraft folder. Let's close out that window. Open Minecraft folder. And you're going to delete version and Minecraft-1.1 underscore zero two. Okay. After oh, before you can delete those, you need to close out of the patcher, because uh, the patch is actually using those files right now. So you exit out of the patcher and now you can delete these two these two files here. So go down to delete, hit yes, good to go. Now what you want to do is you want to go back into Minecraft because this is what this is going to do is it's going to download and update Minecraft to the vanilla version. Go ahead and get that done. Voila. Now see it's all vanilla. Everybody knows what this looks like. It looks like doo doo. So, go back into the patcher, click run, check the texture pack box, click the browse button, go back down to the deal, and then you hit patch. And you're all set. You can test Minecraft, and you're good to go. The textures are all logged in, you're good to go. Now you can exit out of everything. Jump into Minecraft and see that the textures are there. Amazing. All right, you guys. Well, that's um, all I can show you. If you have any questions, you can write on my. Uh, you can send a comment my way or send me an email. Either way, it doesn't matter. And uh, I will see you all later.